In this quick tutorial I'll show you how to convert your STF file into the Z code that's ready for printing using Zortrax M200 printer. Okay, so first when you install the software you are launching it and you're going to this screen and then what you have to do, you have to just upload or drag your structure to be printed. Okay, it takes some time. Okay, a little bit more, because this model is really complex. And it's also depending on the speed of your computer, the amount of memory you have. Alright, it seems that my model appears finally. So this is this is my model of my protein. As you can see here, I've prepared the support using um, Mesh Mixer. You can see that it's not perfect, but it's printable. Okay. So now let's see what we can do next. Um, right now, all you have to do is a couple of things. First, you're going, you're going to click on the model. To select it okay it's good and then we are going to resize the model okay and this is going by percentage or by millimeters so if you do by millimeters all you have to do you have to change it to maximum of 150 and every everything else will follow accordingly there you go okay once this is done you will see that my model will be 150 millimeters uh, by 133 uh, by 145 okay so it will have 41.5 uh, cubic centimeters okay that's what we wanted the next thing you have to do is you have to go to print settings just just follow along this um, directions here and I believe you can do that by doing uh, editable support uh, let's go erase Okay, and let's do it again. So it's going to prepare the model. And I believe it's going to ask us how we want to proceed with the support. Okay, so it will take some time. Okay, so now basically you have this editable support. Once we skip it, just go to preview because we don't have to add any support. Uh, do you want to continue? Yes. And now it will generate the Z code. It's going to take again some time. As you can see here, this is a very long process, so you just have to be patient. Yes, we're still here, we're right now at 62%, so it's really a slow process. Okay, we're almost done. Now it's generating paths. Okay, almost there, preparing preview, remove the model, not quite yet, because it needs to slice it, and I can see here the lines are kind of um, jagged a little bit. Okay, right now the model is fully prepared, you can scroll it, use um, the wheel on the mouse to see how this is sliced. So this looks good, so you can zoom it out, and then export the file. Okay, so this is our exporting file, just click export file, and you are done. 